All right, so I got a request to see if anyone from the evangelical right would try to lead MAGA into the light. So let's see. Now, sadly, a lot of the evangelical right is MAGA. But will anyone, they were, the question poser was more focused on leadership, like some of the televangelist type thing, I suppose. So is there anyone from the evangelical right who will try to lead them into the light? Because as you see, the Paula Whites and the Kenneth Copelands and all these people, no. And bathroom Billy, what's his name? Um, Olstein. <laughs> bathroom Billy. <laughs> I have no sense. What's <laughs> uh, Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. There's a woman fighting. The Empress. The Nine of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Four of Swords. The Two of Strength. Three of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. So this would be the battle of all battles. Like Godzilla versus Moth Orilla or whatever it was called. Um, but it's a woman, naturally, because if there anybody's going to lead a group of people, Harriet Tubman style, into the light, it's got to be a woman, uh, especially here in the age of Aquarius. And so there's a queen of swords in Empress. She is very devout. She could also be with the queen of swords, someone who is a little more fairer in skin, but not necessarily European or, um, English, but someone who's low fairer um, with the Empress, someone who has a very strong following, has a command over that following, too. There's the fight. It, it's, it's sort of equivalent to, sort of. This is what's popping in my head anyway. I'll just say that. If you are, if a person is learning how to swim and they're six feet tall and they're in two feet of water and they're holding on to the side because they're afraid of the unknown, they're afraid to drown or whatever, and you're trying to convince them, let go of the wall. There is no real danger in you drowning, because all you got to do is stand up. But they do not feel that way. And so there is some fear about letting go of the MAGA, because now I have to admit I was wrong. I have been duped. It is easier to convince a person, or to fool a person than to convince a person they've been fooled, right? So that's kind of the philosophy here. Conflict and the bully. The bully is how she comes off. Because the Queen of Swords is straightforward. She is she cuts through the BS because she doesn't really have time to repeat the same thing a hundred different ways or a hundred different times. And so she's just going to say it the way it is because it's not that I'm trying to be harmful. I just want to say it one time is all. But that also causes her some stress. Because you are an evangelical. You are a person who is either prosperity preaching or you are preaching to a demographic that is not diverse. I'll say it that way. And so there are people in your congregation that think the same. And so when you start this fight with one domino effect, it starts with the other ones. And so that does cause you some consternation, some concern, some, oh my goodness, I'm up at night type of things. However, this is not a fight that you cannot win, for there is the strength card. The strength card can be actual physical strength, but the strength card teaches you that there is a new approach to taming the beast. 
do not force the mouth in, or the lion's mouth closed. Don't shoot them with a tranquilizer dart. Don't catch them in a net. Use the feminine strength, the softer approach, diplomacy. So that is the thing that, but to answer the question, yes, there is a person who shall try. Now, this comes way in time because this person is actually fed up. And so that's that's what happens. But this comes in time. The change happens over time as well. MAGA does get smaller. There will be some sort of revival. Um, now, to keep in mind, the mentality of MAGA is eternal because that's, you know, racism and limited thinking. That will stay, that will be there forever. Racist, racism will never be dead. But it can be shrunk as it is today. It is everywhere, but it is not um, prominent like it used to be. So somebody shall try. Good luck to you, madam. 